tires because I know she was with another man. She makes me do the things I do. Cameras all through the house? It's a woman who's been broken by the accusations. When we're out in public, I keep my head down. And a man whose entire home is based on fear. I like to control and to protect what's mine. I never leave. I'm a prisoner in my house. He's really starting to scare me. This woman has been choked out. I just couldn't breathe. All because her man thinks she's a cheater. I've smacked Tina in her face and I've choked her. I've never cheated on you, not one time. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. All of these men want their women to take lie detector tests. Here are the results. Are these women being bullied for no reason? Can our special experts prevent these men from destroying their families? You deserve to be loved. Trust her. An important hour of Mari is about to begin. Everyone, welcome Candace to the show. Now, Candace has been married to a man named Kyle for four years, and they have a three-year-old son together. So in the beginning, Candace admits they were a happy couple. But two years ago, Candace went on a late-night grocery run to pick up some food, and upon her return, an enraged Kyle not only accused her of lying and cheating, he slashed all four of her tires. So since that day, Candace says, Kyle has been a completely different man, one who uses intimidation and bully tactics to get what he wants. Watch this. My wife Candace became my property when she married me. The only reason we have problems in our marriage is because I know Candace cheats on me. I have zip-tied Candace to me to make sure she doesn't sneak out of the house overnight. She went to the store to go get groceries at 1 in the morning and claimed that the car broke down. So the next morning, I slashed off four of her tires because I know she was with another man. I saw my wife in the porn video with our neighbor. When I saw that guy in the store, I walked up to him and broke his jaw. Candace made me so mad, I threw her in the tub and I punched her in the face. I don't see myself as abusive. But if Candace lies to me, I am going to call her a bitch and a whore. The only thing that can save this marriage is if Candace passes a lie detector test. I never wanted any of this drama. All I demanded was honesty and respect. Wow. It wasn't like this in the beginning it wasn't. at all. How long were you with him before he started to act like this? Uh, we were together two years. We were like best friends, soulmates. So let's talk about that one incident, okay? You're going out pretty late at night to get a food for him, to make him lunch for work. Yeah, we had the baby at a time. So I was going so that they could sleep because he got up so early. And the car wouldn't start when I left. So it was like two or three in the morning when I had called him to come and get me. And he didn't, he didn't say anything to me that night, didn't do anything. The next day he started yelling at me and accusing me of cheating. And then what happened with the car? He, he stormed out of the house and he slashed one of my tires. And I told him that I was going to leave. And I would still leave on three tires, and he went back out, and he slashed all four of them so that I wouldn't be able to leave. So that was the first big incident yeah. in the change. Yes. And then after that, it got worse. It got worse. He threw me into the bathtub trying to keep me to stay. Oh. How about this, this story about he takes these zip ties? Yes. And ties you up to him in bed at night so he you won't leave? He kept saying that I was going out and I was leaving and I was bringing other men inside the house. I was waiting until he fell asleep. And he would hit you? Yes. 